so explain the bullishness not so much maybe as it relates to the very, very near term, but how do you make a structural case for higher stock prices over the next couple of years? Well, anybody that uh, just listened to Bob Pisani got a wonderful tutorial on what's wrong with the market and why people were chasing too much momentum in January and February, Kelly. I think we're still, as investors, making too many binary decisions. In 2019, it was, it was uh, all the big cap tech stocks. In 2020, it was the stay-at-home stocks. In 2021, uh, we saw a lot of those heavy, more speculative names, like the SPAC-driven names and the lithium names and the clean air tech and those in those. Kathy Wood type names really recover, but anything, more than anything, I'm sorry, the value names. And so I think this momentum trading has to stop and we have to be more diversified. And I can make a case with respect <clears throat> to stocks from here. We think stocks are higher a year from now. We think bond prices are lower a year from now. Yields are going to be higher. I think bonds are the speculative era. I mean, think about this, Kelly. We've had a 39 year bull market and bonds and i think that's where the that's where the stress on is and think about this also lastly 2 trillion dollars at least of money sitting on the sidelines institutional investors have underperformed i think dips will be bought mm -hmm. i don't see a deep correction of more than 10% we could be choppy from here kelly and consolidate but i don't see a deep correction the more people are looking for a correction the more likely it will not happen yeah no we were talking last hour about how the dips are disappearing let me ask you though about you make a really important uh, interesting and important point about technology saying a lot of people bailed on that trade too soon what do you mean by that well, I think they saw bond yields heading in the, in the wrong direction, and I, and, uh, I think they, they, they rushed to judgment on tech. I mean, think about this, Kelly. We would not have a vaccine without technology. We would not have these unbelievable productivity gains without technology. We would not have been able to socially change the way that we have the last year or so in turn to this normalcy trade that is really stay at home, and we talk about the communication services names as well, but technology made that happen, whether or not it's the consumer tech names, uh, like Apple or, or the productivity names um, or the software names or the payment names like PayPal or Visa or MasterCard. I think uh, technology is here to stay three to five years. It still remains one of our three favorite sectors. I think for the next 12 months, clearly you want to be more focused on cyclical, uh, especially those areas with strong earnings and strong themes like financials especially. And, but I think, you, I think people bailed on tech too early, and it was part of my notion and fear that people are making binary decisions, sell tech by value, and I think it obviously did not work. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.